हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जियोमेटिक्स इंजीनियरिंग और आज के इस लेक्चर में वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू एक्सपोर्ट मल्टीपल रास्टर इमेजेस टुगेदर इन गूगल अर्थ इंजन सो हियर आई हैव ओपन द गूगल अर्थ इंजन प्लेटफॉर्म एंड आई हैड क्रिएटेड अ ब्लैंक स्क्रिप्ट एंड नेम इट एज अ मल्टीपल एक्सपोर्ट टूगेदर सो फॉर टू डेज एक्सरसाइज वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सपोर्ट अ डेली रेनफॉल डेटा फॉर टेन डेज एंड द एक्सपोर्टेड इमेज फॉर्मेटिंग विल बी इन डेट वाइज फॉर्मेट सो लेट स्टार्ट बाई डिफाइनिंग अ एओ आई सो हेयर आई एम टेकिंग अ रीजन ऑफ हरियाणा एज एन एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड फॉर क्रिएटिंग एन एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट अ ड्रॉ अ रेक्टेंगल टूल फ्रॉम हेयर इन द लेफ्ट सेक्शन एंड नाउ आई हेड क्रिएटेड अ रेक्टेंगल एंड वेन वी क्रिएट एनी पॉलीगन और पॉइंट और लाइन यूजिंग दीज टूल दैट आर अवेलेबल हेयर इन दिस अर्थ इंजन इट विल क्रिएट अ वेरिएबल फॉर दैट ज्योमेट्री सो आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग दिस रेक्टेंगल वी विल गेट अ वेरिएबल नेम्ड एज अ ज्योमेट्री विच हैज दिस रेक्टेंगल विल बी स्टोर सो आवर फर्स्ट स्टेप is to define an area of interest and now the second step will be the data collection and here we are going to get the daily precipitation data from chirps so our second step will be load the chirps daily precipitation data and for that firstly we have to create a variable and here i am giving this variable name as a chirps and using the image collection function of earth engine we will import this precipitation data so here i am writing the e dot image collection function and then these brackets and inside the brackets the precipitation data code will become so in the search bar you have to search for the daily precipitation data when you will search for precipitation data you will get chirps daily climate hazard group infrared precipitation with station data you just have to click on this link and from here the collection snippet you will get this image collection code now copy this code and paste it within these bracket and now we have to define a date range so for date range i want to export a 10 days daily precipitation data so i am taking the date range from 20th march 2023 to 31st march 2023 so for filtering date range you have to use the function dot filter date and within the brackets you have to write the start date and end date so our start date is 2023 third 20th 20th march 2023 and our end date is 2023 third and 31st so our end date is 31st march and now we have to select a band from this image collection because if we see this chirps daily data set there is a band named as a precipitation so we have to select this precipitation band from this image collection so for selecting that data we have to write the function dot select and write the precipitation within these brackets now we have imported the pre daily precipitation data the filter date range is set and the precipitation band is also selected here and now our goal is our goal is to export these 10 days precipitation data together together means just doing a one click all 10 days if images should be exported so for exporting these data set firstly we have to define the export parameters so for defining the export parameters we have to create a dictionary define the export parameters and now for exporting parameters we have to create a new variable which i am giving the name as export argument and within this variable in the curly bracket i am writing the key value pair so first key is folder so the folder is that location where you want to export these images in google drive so i am writing the folder names as rainfall data and next key is our reason so reason we have selected our area of interest here as a geometry so i am giving the reason as a geometry and here after each key value pair you have to give a comma and next key value is scale and its value is 5000 because our precipitation data is at 0.05 degree resolution which is almost 5000 meters and next key is crs crs is for defining projection so here i am using the projection 
parameter as EPSG 4326, which is used for WGS 84. And now the next key value pair is file format. So our file format is going to be in GeoTIFF. GeoTIFF. And again, a next key is format option. So within this format option key, I'm creating another dictionary within the value, which is going to be cloud optimized, which should be true for this data set. So now all the export parameters are set here. So here I'm using format option cloud optimized true is basically for so each GeoTIFF images will be optimized for cloud based access. And now we have completed these three steps. Firstly, to defining the area of interest and second to loading all these image collection for precipitation and third to defining the export parameters. And now our next step is to convert this image collection to a list. For exporting each image together, we have to convert this image collection, this precipitation data image collection into a list. And for that, firstly, I am writing a comment here that we are going to convert the image collection into a list, into a list. So for converting this image collection into a list, we are going to use a function to list. So for that, we are going to create a new variable that is going to be image list. And within this, we are going to use this variable that we have created for the precipitation data. So we have to convert this image collection to list. And within this list, I also want to calculate the size of this image collection. So for that, again, I'm putting a bracket here. And within this, I'm writing this image collection data. For that, we have given the variable name chirp dot size. And now the bracket is ended here. And now we have to get this image list information. For that, I'm again creating a new variable. That is variable number of images. I'm creating a new variable as number of images where I'm going to get the information of this image list variable. So for that, I'm writing the image list dot size. First information, I want to get its size and dot get info. So get info will provide also the other information of this image list. So dot get info is basically used to get the actual images of this number of images variable from a Earth Engine server. And now for exporting this list, we have to iterate, iterate it through a for loop. So for that, I am going to use the for loop where I am creating a variable i is equal to 0. And when i is less than this number of images, then i plus plus. So let me explain this for loop for you. So here I have created a variable i which is set at starting at 0. And then here a condition is explained that i is less than number of images. Whenever this i is less than the number of images that here we have created to get the list of this image collection. So whenever this i is the less than the number of images, this loop will continue and this i plus plus shows that after each iteration, the i value should be increased. So that when this loops reach at the number of images, last value of number of images, then this loop will be stopped for iteration. So the loop is created here. Now our next step is to get the images from the list. So get the images from the list. For that, we are going to create a new variable which is named as an image. And within this, we are going to use a function e.image. And within this, we are going to get this image list which we have created using this image collection. Image list dot get. And within the get, we are going to use this i. Now the loop is completed here and here a comma will be Placed by the semicolon. Now the all errors are gone. So our loop is ready for iteration. And our next step is to export the image. And before exporting the image, I want to export each image formatting in its exact date format. Like each image name should be in date format. For that, we have to get the date of that image. So then our next step is going to be get the date of the image and for that I am going to create a new variable variable date and within this date variable we are going to use a function ee dot date and within this date I am going to use this image that is used in this loop so this image dot get what we want to get the system time start. So for that we have to write single quote system time start. So each data set date information is stored within this string that is system time start. And we want the system time 
start in a format of date month year so for that we have to format this in year month and date and now the all parameters are set images listed and the for loop is created for iteration and for the file formatting here we get the date parameters and now we have to update our export parameters so for updating it we have to write write this variable that we have created for this exporting parameter that is export argument so i'm pasting it here so we have to use this export parameter on this image that is used in this for loop so export argument dot image is equal to image so we want to use this export argument parameter on this image and we want the output as this image and for file name prefixing again we have to use this export parameter and we have to write the function file name prefix and within this we want to get our data which has for each tiff file we want it as it name as precipitation and the date information of that image so for date information we are going to click a plus symbol and we have created already a date parameter for the date information so i'm pasting it so i'm copying this date parameter and pasting it here and we just have to write a function dot get info so dot get info will give us the actual information of that image and now the brackets are closed here and now the final export parameters are set here and we just have to export these images so for exporting the images we have to write here export dot image dot to drive so we want to export it into a google drive and write this export argument within these bracket because all the images and all the file name prefix are updated within this export parameter variable and now our code is ready for exporting these images so our date range is for 20th march to 31st march total 10 days images should be there because this is a daily rainfall data now i'm going to click on the run and now after running it we are getting an error that says that unexpected argument to function to drive format option so we have to check our export parameter like here is format option so there is a missing s it should be format options now we have to check it again so i'm clicking it run here so after clicking on the run it will take some time and you can see in the task manager all the 10 images are exported here and when you click on the run you will get the file name as a precipitation and date name all the drive folder that we have set in the export parameter all the scale and crs is already mentioned here you just have to click on the run for each file so if you check for it the date is changed for each file like here it is written as 2023 22 and in the next one it is written as 23 so the date is changing for all this images you just have to click on run for all these images to export it together and after completing it you can check it in your google drive in the folder name that you have written in export parameters so i hope you all understand about how can you export multiple images together in google earth engine so i hope you are liking this video and if you are liking this video please let me know in the comment section and thank you very much